Here at York, we've enjoyed a fabulous third afternoon at the Ebor Festival. But for horse racing, this has also been a particularly grim day as we learned of the deaths of Espoir d'Alene and Roaring Lion. They were both champions in their particular spheres, with Espoir d'Alene winning last season's champion hurdle at Cheltenham in March by a wide margin, and Roaring Lion, of course, last year, having been one of the undoubted stars of the flat season. We knew that both horses had been having very difficult times with Espoir de Len having sustained a serious injury in a freak accident and Roaring Lion having undergone colic surgery in New Zealand. We'd hoped that both were out of the woods, but that proved not to be the case. For Gavin Cromwell, the young trainer of Espoir de Len, this is a hammer blow given that Espoir de Len had been the horse that had taken his career to a new level and he'd done wonderful things with that horse and as a five-year-old Espoir de Len had wonderful things to achieve in the future. Sadly that won't now happen and we won't get to see so many of the foals and yearlings that Roaring Lion would have gone on to produce and no doubt achieve great things on the race course just as he did during an incredible 2018 when he rattled off four Group 1 victories back to back displaying tremendous courage and also outstanding ability, never more so than here in the Judmont International when he spread-eagled a high-class field. Thoroughbreds are magnificent animals capable of achieving incredible things, but they are also, sadly, incredibly vulnerable too. And today, through freak accident and through serious illness, we lost two of the best in Espoir de Len and Roaring Lion. Commiserations to their connections.